Good morning, Panthers. I'm Camden. And my name is Justin. And, and this, this is Tech, Tech Tuesday. Tuesday. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to talk about Sony. You may remember that a big feature of the PS5 was the ability to game at 8K. The PS5 has the physical hardware necessary to support 8K, but even when playing an 8K supported game, the PS5 only outputs at 4K. So what's the catch? Did we all get scammed? Well, no. Sony has limited the output to 4K for the time being. Nobody really knows why, but the best guess is that they are just waiting for more games to, to support or be available in 8K. That's all I have to say. Now time for games. Hi, I'm back. Now here for games. Today we're, we are not going to talk about new games coming out. Instead, we're going to talk about some games we just really enjoy. Uh, Minecraft. That's, <laughs> I mean, that's a big game I really enjoy. I mean, Minecraft's one of those games that you don't really seem to find many people playing back then, but now it's just blown up into something like super popular. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know why. Like the first Minecon was only 50 people. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. Oh my god. That seems crazily small, but when you think about it, there's millions of people play the same every day now. <laughs> it's, it's exploded in popularity. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another game, I think one of my, definitely one of my favorites is Age of Empires. Age of, Age of Empires, really? It's a classic. I mean, I can play the third one, but I just can't really seem to enjoy the first or second one for some reason. But like, though, I really do have a terrible time running it on my computer. It's not very good. Don't run on anything. <laughs> really? Yeah, the Why first and the second one. Um, yeah, like mine's just really crappy. The other one. one just crapped out on my computer. And so I just opt out to play on the Xbox one, but unfortunately that's not the worst one. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, keeping on topic of the classic games, I think another one to mention is Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> what is Super Monkey Ball? <laughs> Super Monkey Ball is, uh, it's a really old game. It's from like 2001. Okay. Um, basically, you're a, you're a, in a ball, you're a monkey. Oh, I, I think I've heard of that. I think I've heard of that And there's now. like these levels where you, you control yeah. the tilt. It's Super Monkey Ball. It, it seems really nice, but it seems super hard at the same time. It is really hard, <laughs> unless you're playing with a GameCube controller. Mm, yeah. That is the best controller to play Super Monkey Ball with. I only really see it on the PlayStation, <laughs> now that's the thing. It is literally, like, probably my most favorite game. Um, and then Borderlands 3, that is, I've spent so much time in Borderlands 3. Ooh, I, Such a good game. Did they ever release the fourth one? I can't I don't, remember. I don't think so. Uh, if so, then I'm really waiting for the fourth one, but mm -hmm. the third one just seems super like, play, like replayable and also unplayable at the same time for the fact of some, some, some of them are really difficult, but some are not. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so I'm here, and well, I'm gonna talk about Destiny. Uh, well, what do you think about Destiny? The new expansion seems iffy. It seems fun though. Mm. I don't stay up to date on Destiny. Oh, I don't play Destiny. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> that's super bad. I think. Yeah. Um, there's also um, Atomic Heart. Uh, Atomic Heart seems really nice. It's almost like uh, a futuristic, if Russia one. And mm. it looks really nice, but yeah, <laughs> have you looked at Atomic Heart at all? Atomic Heart, it's like futuristic Russia. Like it sounds like Metro. It does. It, it does look like Metro for a bit, but it also looks like '40s futuristic Russia. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, I'm also talking about Siege. Siege is surprisingly really weird when it comes to mechanics mm -hmm. in the game, to where there's no health really, and operators are really, like, have no health. But, yeah. Uh, and lastly, I'm here to talk about Overwatch. Overwatch seems to be almost unplayable at the meta right now. There's nobody really playing uh, the new modes, and, well, the new season just doesn't seem really good for the fact that there's no new hero. And, well, yeah. I don't know why. Hmm. Just, yeah. That's all for games. Now time to move on to our history segment. Hey, welcome back to Tech History. For today's history segment, we're gonna be talking about what bytes are and how big they'll actually get. So 
A byte is a form of storage that is used on a computer's hard drive to save data. Just like numbers, every thousand is given a new prefix name. For example, the lowest form of storage, or the smallest amount, is called a byte, or one byte, which usually consists of only one character in size, meaning something like the letter A, or the number 4, would consist of one byte. The next size up would be a kilobyte, and hence the name kilo, there's a thousand bytes in one kilobyte. Then a megabyte, which is a thousand kilobytes, and so on. After a megabyte, a gigabyte, then a terabyte, then a petabyte, then an etabyte, then a yottabyte, then a zettabyte, there's so many. As you can see, these storage spaces get exponentially larger, and right now, you could probably have a terabyte on your computer without even having to worry about space, unless it's for your career or you download a lot of things on your computer. So will these numbers ever be plausible to use in the future? Well, yes and no. About 10 years ago, most games and or videos had lower graphics and lower sprites and much lower resolutions overall. So their sizes, well, you could guess, were probably around maybe 100 megabytes to a gigabyte for most games. Now, installing games, they can go anywhere from 5 gigabytes to 100 gigabytes. And for some games, they can even consist of 150 plus gigabytes whenever you add their downloadable content. And pictures have also gotten so much higher resolution that instead of just a few kilobytes or, or many kilobytes or a few megabytes, they're now consisting of 30 plus megabytes and some videos are consisting of multiple gigabytes. But back to the question. The reason I also said no is because at one point, resolution won't impact what we see with our naked eye. Like why would you need a 16K resolution photo on your phone when you could clearly see it with a 4K or 8K resolution? So unless we find a new sort of thing that takes up a lot of storage and consists of so much more program that will take up more space, we might stop at a petabyte maximum. But who knows? As the whole AI revolution's coming around the corner, we might be seeing people uh, get to program whole entire unimaginable games in the blink of an eye. That's it for history. That's, That's all, all for tech. tech. See, See you next Tuesday. Tuesday.